Hey, you did good. I'm proud of you. Hi, everyone. I'm Anthony Gonzalez, and I voice Miguel Rivera in Coco. I'm Lee Unkrich, and I'm the director of Coco. We're here to celebrate the movie by revisiting some of our favorite scenes. I am not like the rest of my family. Hola, Miguel. Hola. Okay, yeah, that scene always brings me so much happiness watching it because you can just see how much, you know, Miguel is so happy with music. And it's really a scene that sets off the wonderful world of Coco. Hey, when Dante me. pops out of the, uh, the garbage can and Miguel is doing down. sit, down, roll, roll over, over. That is something that my son Max did with our dog, Waffles. I kind of put that in there as a little uh, surprise for my kids when they saw the movie. Also in that sequence are some great Easter eggs. You can see pinatas of Buzz Lightyear and Woody and Mike Wazowski. Remember me, though I have to say goodbye, remember me. Don't let it make you Remember Me is such an amazing song. I'm so like, it has so many wonderful interpretations. And in this scene right here, you can see how much love Hector has for Mama Coco and how much he has to give for his family. I'm a pretty sorry excuse for a great, great grandpa. Are you kidding? I'm very proud of Anthony Gonzalez and of course the animators who were inspired by their voices and then brought the characters to life. Something that made me different. There's some very delicate understated acting in that scene. It comes from you. I remember recording this in the recording studio with Lee Unkrich. I'm proud to be your family. Like I remember doing this and it's so fun to be able to see it again. I'm proud to be his family. Mama Coco, your papa, he wanted you to have this. <gasps> Mama. The one scene in Coco that has impacted my life immensely was the scene when Miguel sings to Mama Coco, Remember Me. Remember me. That stands out for a lot of people, myself included. Anthony sings Remember Me so beautifully. The animation of Miguel and the animation of Coco slowly coming to life, I, I just think is is lovely. When I was in the recording studio, when I was recording and singing that, it was so incredibly emotional for me. It was probably the first time I was, you know, crying and singing at the same time. I had so many emotions. In order for it to really have emotional impact on the audience, we had to lay a lot of train track throughout the film to get to that moment and let the audience fall in love with both of the characters and in love with Ektor as well, because uh, ostensibly the moment is about Ektor and saving his memory. These aren't just old pictures, they're our family, and they're counting on us to remember them. I've been really fortunate between Toy Story 3 and Coco, two movies I've directed that both have multiple emotional beats, and you, you feel like almost this like tidal wave of emotion the other thing that I think about is just, again, how Anthony's voice is so beautifully clear as he sings that song. Enjoy your busy, And it makes me a little nostalgic because Anthony is 18 years old now. So he's not that little boy that we cast way back when. You see that Hector is wearing shoes now and he's able to walk across the bridge for the first time, something he's never been able to do. What I always wanted was a very powerful, uplifting, kind of family-filled uh, celebration. The song, Par Corazon, is one of the most amazing songs. I'm so glad I had the honor to sing it. It's really the first song Miguel sings where his family is, is you know, happy and there along with him and he doesn't have to hide his passion for music anymore. Fifth anniversary, Coco.